So how about this as my my little scarecrow? How far will I get before police stops me? Being part of a family uh, of scientists, my father is a PhD, is a professor, marine biologist, developing uh, marine agriculture. My brother uh, is a doctor, researches in cancer, finding cure for cancer. Always wanted to do a little bit of my own experimentation. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Tap into science, do conduct my own little experiment over here. You know, we always talk about, we hear about, uh, we say Kevlar, Kevlar clothes, Kevlar jeans, Kevlar, flannels, Kevlar shirt, whatever. And we all well, we throw out that that uh, term Kevlar, Kevlar, Kevlar. What is Kevlar and how strong is Kevlar? I just want to let you know that a Beyond Riders flannel, which uh, I've had for quite a while now, it had, I lately found a defect in it. I reached out to uh, Beyond Riders and with their great customer service, they said, they immediately sent me out a replacement. I said, what do I do with the, the one that's uh, not good anymore? Just throw it away or do something with it, whatever. So I'm using uh, a defective shirt that cannot be used or reused. It would, it would be either doing the experiment or throwing this one away. How strong is a Kevlar jacket? So this is my, uh, my older flannel, the Kevlar flannel that has uh, the outer shell obviously is cotton or whatever and the Kevlar material inside is the yellow the yellow thing so this yellow uh, material Kevlar which is a DuPont trademark whatever it's a patent supposedly it's not supposedly it's used in combat uh, gear protect against bullets and shrapnel and stuff like that I think it's fire resistant and abrasion resistant meaning it can hold and withstand a lot of scuffs and stretching and cutting and whatever. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Being pulled behind a motorcycle with uh, this gear, I'm not that age, but I'm going to try to do something pretty much uh, close to that. Let me put this clothes hanger. I reinforce it with a little bit of tape. Hmm? So how about this as my my little scarecrow, huh? <laughs> my little my little scarecrow. Let me tie this up as well. And over here, then I'll rig something to drag this along. Nice Halloween scarecrow. This and this. Hope nobody stops me thinking I'm dragging a body. <laughs> that could be that could be scary. Already, I think this is gonna be a really cold start. The bike uh, wasn't, I haven't used the bike for three weeks already. before police stops me with this.
not a lot of weight inside. It's flying all over the place. And it's not really scratching. Well, I'm not getting the results I'm looking for because there's not enough weight. So I'm not getting that friction, not getting the results. Starting to get some, yeah, initial tears, yeah. Well, if I run a little bit more further down, but maybe I'll add some weight to it. Let me go try and add some weight. Yeah, found a nice little piece of a log of wood. Very substantial. Yeah, this weighs easy, uh, 20 pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm very strong, by the way. Put it in the shirt. Log. Some wood inside. Oh, how about that for an experiment? Button it up. Right? You want to be buttoned up? You want to be a mensch? Now we've got some nice, nice weight over here. Well, let's check it out. Now we should have some good friction. some kind of madman maybe or well, maybe I am <laughs> let's see if we got some good some good uh, effects oh yeah oh yeah oh man I went through over here all the way through the wood holy shit oh my god oh my god that's funny I really am real abuse amazing I took it for oh my god you got to see the results <laughs> oh my god oh. it's held up pretty well I've been riding it for like a mile maybe a mile a little bit more around the neighborhood this is crazy let's see what we got here I want you to know that I rode it about uh, 10 15 minutes around the neighborhood dragged it around pretty much about close to a mile i think let's see what we got the log of wood okay yeah yeah well you know what the zippers the zipper didn't hold the zipper didn't hold okay <laughs> that's pretty wild Oh man, look, the, the, the scratching over here, this was dragging all over. It literally burned, it burned the zipper so the zipper won't open. Well, I had to break open. I had to break open the zipper. Let's take our, and our log, and our log of wood. See what we got here. Let's inspect our results. That's what we got. Wherever the, the pavement hit directly, the fabric immediately dissolved and, and, and broke apart and ripped. Wherever there was Kevlar, so it had way more resistance. Over here you can see it, it held the resistance, but over here I guess it was like too much, too much, too long of a time under, so it ripped. Same thing over here, here was direct, 
the piece of wood was right behind it and that dragged on the on the road for like a mile so obviously it ripped the back look much back looks much better you see Let me rip it a little bit so you can see the kevlar the kevlar pretty much held up and and the fabric itself is like disintegrated it disappeared it is completely shredded but the kevlar itself just held up for a mile at uh on the road so i say let me put it on how do i look this is what it looks like after being dragged for almost a mile for like 10 minutes this log inside substantial weight and being dragged for a mile <laughs> along the road significant damage all the way over here in the front with an imp with an entry wound over here and in the back i've seen i think you've seen i've shown you you see and so let me say this kevlar is great for road abrasion if you fall if you're dragged on the bike great against road rash absolutely if you add the pads that you have uh impact pads over here crash pads on the elbows shoulders back i'd say uh it's very good protection obviously if you're going to be dragged behind a motorcycle for a mile it's not going to do the job but otherwise you get very good protection for this that was a fun experiment let me uh, get some footage of the back yeah.